The time has come for lions to tell I and I own story. Yes, I, you're listening to Lion's Voice. I and I is Rastabat Shailin from the island of St. Croix. Yeah, I'm bringing to you Rastafari vibes. Can you feel it? Rastafari. Babylon born when Rasta come together. Can you feel it? Rastafari. Because... Babylon done when I and I come together. Look how we live together, aya. Look how we work together, aya. Oh, Babylon done when Rasta come together. Here lie Rastafari, his majesty and impressive man and bless. Yeah, man, here lie from Rasta Sinko, I Rasta Bata here. I am. The fittest, fittest of the fittest shall survive. Wake up, blessed love. This is Queen Omega representing for all lions and lionesses. With the lion's voice, we come to tell our story. Rastafari, live it. Hey, hey, the lion's voice, Rastafari. It starts with purpose, and I have something I call purpose over poopo. Excuse my French. Okay. Why do say that? Because. When you're a young man, you will roam the streets at night looking for this elusive poo poo that you have been called biologically to connect with. And this becomes the main focus of most young men's pursuit. You're at the club, you're not looking for uh, a lady, you're thinking about the feeling that poo poo is going to give you, right? So we just have to do it from a, a, a thing to say that if you have a purpose, and if you're connected to that service to the Most High, you are going to now have a better metric on which to vet. The year is 1892, and the land of Ethiopia has been experiencing four years of terrible famine and drought. They call it the Kiku Ken, or the evil days. At least one third of the human population and 90% of the cattle have died. The hyenas have feasted on so many carcasses that they have become overweight and barely able to move. Just when the people could take no more of the evil days, a woman named Wasiro Yashimebe is giving birth in a place called Ergersa Gora. This is her ninth attempt to bring forth new life. Her previous eight attempts only resulted in death. Will this child live? Thankfully, a healthy baby boy is born. His first cries are drowned by thunder and lightning flashes across the night sky. The heavens open up and torrential rain starts to fall. Ethiopia's drought is over and the baby boy is given the name Tafari, meaning one to be feared or respected. Lich Tafari's father, Ross McCunnan, is a very important man in 1892 Ethiopia. Although he is overjoyed at the birth of his newborn son, he cannot spend much time with him. Ross McCunnan is the governor of Harar and must get back to the famous walled city to deal with its affairs. Furthermore, he is the foreign minister of Ethiopia, and having traveled to different places in Europe, he is very aware of the material and military advances they have made and the looming threats they pose to his country. Ross McCunnan knows that the majority of Ethiopians have no idea what is coming and that he has to work that much harder to secure the realm. Lich Tafari would grow up to become the legendary emperor, Haile Selassie I. To understand his journey, we must first understand the Ethiopia that he was inheriting and what it was like when he was born in 1892. Get your copy of Kwesi Bansu's book, Haile Selassie the First Ethiopia, Volume 1, The Rise of the Priestly Warrior Kings, and increase your knowledge about the history, politics, and culture of Ethiopia in 1892, and how it connects to the rest of African and world history at the time. Haile Selassie the First Ethiopia, Volume 1, is available for purchase at www.bookmanexpress.pub. Please visit for more information. Then we had uh, what I was called there 
four, which is the marriage panel. I'll give you a little piece of my presentation. Uh, I was talking and I, I ended up talking about, you know, some of the pur purpose of a pum pum content because before this, and you'll see at the end, um, young man came up to I and just gave I testimony how he watched I on I never knew TV platform. And if you have not seen my interviews on that platform, two different, um, times I've been on there. Um, go check it out. But the brethren say he had it as a screen save on his phone. Purpose over Pum Pum for six months. It changed the whole trajectory of his life. This man gave a very emotional ice to morning. My daughter caught some of it on camera. Me reasoning with the brethren. I'll, I'll show it at the end. Um, so, and that was right before I went forward to this panel. So, you know what I mean? I really, um, you know, touched on there. So you can see in the panel, we talk about that and, Powerful panel. All of this will be available on I Never Know TV. Um, he's going to be ready to launch a subscription service. So all of this will be in its fullness, high definition behind the paywall, um, which I, you know, advocated that Virgin really did because, um, as I say, these, these platforms, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, we don't own them. Um, we don't get the full analytics off of these platforms. So there are tools, but you know, you always want to have that direct to consumer relationship with your core audience. You know what I mean? Cause that's the power. That's the engine that's going to power this YouTube can cut you off tomorrow. Um, that's why we stress the emails and, and getting the, 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 the contacts to all of our clients. You know what I mean? And we are implementing here again. I'm going to go in depth on the Patreon in terms of setting up a creative ecosystem. Uh, the Virgin is, is doing it, um, and others that I've been advising are doing it. And you're going to see five years from now who's winning. And it's going to be the people who have created that authentic community, that collective security. And again, this is just implementing the teachings of His Imperial Majesty within the creative realm. So I'm not reinventing the wheel. We just put it within a context that's easy to digest. And because we have experience, we can you know, point out some of the, 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 the roadblocks and the things that you need to think about in advance. Um, so, and you can book your consultation, make sure you can book your creative consultation. But anyhow, this is the marriage panel. Check it out. Check it out. Yes. Uh, first and foremost, let me greet you all in that divine name of his imperial majesty, Emperor Celestia the first, and his chosen green empress was zero men in. It's an honor to be here. Discipline myself and keep within the time restraints. <laughs> um, but in terms of purpose, you know, one of the things that I have been instructing young veteran who come is that uh, everything starts with purpose. And how I define purpose is that purpose is attached to service. First of all, ask yourself, who do you serve? You have to be a higher power. You know, we go into the seek ye first, the kingdom of the Almighty, and all things shall be added. So as a brethren, and I'm talking to the brothers now, we have been called to lead our families. How can you lead if you are not grounded, if you're not connected to source, if you're not connected to the Most High, however you may manifest that uh, journey. Uh, that is your, your number one uh, focus goal in your early 20s. Um, and even before that, but when you're looking to enter into relationship and build a, really a marriage to build your kingdom as a king look for that queen and it starts with purpose and i have something i call purpose over poom poom excuse my french okay why do you say that because when you're a young man you will roam the streets at night looking for this elusive poom poom that you have been called biologically to connect with and this becomes the main focus of most young men's pursuit. You're at the club, you're not looking for uh, a lady. You're thinking about the feeling that Pum Pum is gonna give you, right? So we just have to do it from a, a, a thing to say that if you have a purpose, and if you're connected to that service to the Most High, you are going to now have a better metric on which to vet because some Pum Pum is not good for you. Right? <laughs> uh, let me cut it right there, because I, I can't go deep enough. You know.
yeah. Well, a virtuous woman is so hard to find. Not even gold and ruby should be compared unto the divine. We make the fire burn, fire burn when we get together now. We'll make the fire burn, fire burn when we get together now. We'll make the fire burn, fire burn when we get together now. We stay together and we always learn. We're standing on firm ground. I had to tell this black woman she's like the feet into my heart. I tell this black woman she's like the light into my dark. I told her where I stand, she said we'll never stay apart. I told her Rastafar I was almighty from the start. Well, we two are free, cause that's just like Noah to his heart. Well, Babylon now fall, so we have made plans to depart. I love the way her questions always keep I sharp. Like Solomon and Sheba, we all got to play our part. Fire burn, fire burn, when we get together now. We'll make the fire burn, fire burn, when we get together now. We'll make the fire burn, fire burn, when we get together now. And she say, she'll have all of the youths that the Almighty allow. Well, from the second that we meet, the place full up a heat. From the second we connect, whole heap of energy release. I told this black woman that this your love could never cease. I pray the blessings we possess cause population to increase. I told her Marcus Garvey said, you're the open of the east. I told her Rastafari, he tried her as the prince of peace. 